Hello, it's Josh from ServerPro here, and today we'll be going over how to set up an SSL protected web server on your VPS with Nginx and Let's Encrypt. Have you ever noticed that some website addresses start with HTTP, whilst others start with HTTPS? If we put it simply, this extra S just means that your connection to the website is encrypted, meaning that any information that you share with the site is secure. The technology that makes this possible is called Secure Sockets Layer or SSL for short. If you're processing any kind of sensitive information, it's absolutely crucial that you are protecting your data with SSL to prevent malicious activity like man-in-the-middle attacks. It also has many other benefits including better ranking on search engines and more trust from your users. If you're just setting up a basic website that isn't going to process any sensitive information, then check out our video on setting up Nginx without SSL by clicking the i or the link in the description. This video also explains what Nginx is and why we prefer it to alternatives like Apache. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to update our system and install the relevant packages. To do this, open your Server Pro account and access the control panel for your VPS. Then in the shell tab, run the command apt-get update and and apt-get upgrade-y. This will update the list of available packages on the system and then, if the first command succeeds, upgrade your system to the latest version. This may take some time depending on when the system was last updated. Once this is finished, we're going to install the Nginx and CertBot packages, which we do by running apt-get install nginx python 3 certbot nginx y Nginx is our web server, and CertBot is a tool that allows us to create and install free SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt automatically. Now that these packages are installed, let's start setting up Nginx. On Ubuntu servers, your Nginx configuration files are stored in slash etsy slash Nginx. So let's move into this directory with cd slash etsy slash Nginx. Let's quickly check out our main Nginx configuration file, just so that we can take a note of a few important settings. To do this, I'm going to open the nginx.conf file with vim, but if you'd prefer to use nano or even our built-in file manager, you're obviously free to do so. Scroll down to the virtual host config section. Virtual hosts, also known as server blocks in nginx, are a way of hosting multiple sites on the same server. Each site will have its own configuration file, which will be stored in etsy nginx sites enabled, as you can see here. Exit the file and then create a new file inside the sites available directory called yourdomain.conf. It can strictly speaking be called anything but I like to use this format as it's easy to keep track of which site corresponds to which file. Next open up the file with your favourite text editor, I'm going to be using vim in this case. To start off we need to create a new server block which tells nginx that this is a new website. We then need to tell Nginx which port it should be listening on, which in most cases should be port 80. We'll then tell Nginx which sites are going to be using this directive. In this case we'll use serverproteam.com and www.serverproteam.com, but you should use either your server's hostname like serverpro-vps-tutorials.myserver.gs or your own hostname. Check out our tutorials on setting up a custom domain name by clicking the i or the link in the description. Next we should specify where our site is located on the file system. I would recommend storing your website files in var www followed by your domain name. In this case var www.serverprotein.com. Again this is a convention and simply something that I do to make managing my websites easier. Lastly we'll tell nginx what the home page or index of the site should be. As we're just using a static HTML website, I'll just enter index.html. Then close the server block with a closing curly brace. This is pretty much all we need to do to serve a website. You can go more in depth if you want to, but what we've specified here is the bare minimum. Save the file and quit your text editor. To enable your site, firstly create the directory that you specified in your server block. In this case, I'm going to create var www.serverprotein.com. Then we need to enable our site. Create a symbolic link from Etsy Nginx Sites Available, followed by the name of your configuration file, to Etsy Nginx Sites Enabled. This essentially creates an alias in the same way that you might on a Windows or Mac system. Lastly, check that your configuration file is valid by running Nginx-t. 
If you get no errors, go ahead and restart Nginx by running system control restart Nginx. If you do happen to get any errors, run journal control xe to see what these are. If you visit your website, you'll see that it's working as expected. Now that we've got a functional website, let's secure it with SSL. To do this, we're going to use certbot. In the shell tab, run certbot nginx d followed by a comma separated list of the domains that you want to protect. In this case, serverprotein.com, comma, dub 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 serverprotein.com. If this is the first time that you've run certbot, follow the instructions on screen. Enter an email address for renewal notices and agree to their terms of service. Then specify whether you'd like to sign up to the EFF's newsletter. They don't spam you and they're quite interesting, so I'm going to say yes. The certificate will then be issued. We now get the option to redirect all traffic to use HTTPS. This is a good idea, so press 2 and hit enter. As you can see, the certificate has now been installed. If you visit your website, you'll see that it now starts with HTTPS and has a padlock. This means that you've done it correctly and your site is secure. By default, your Let's Encrypt certificate will expire, which is really not ideal, so we therefore want to automatically renew it. To do this, we're going to use cron jobs. Open your cron tab by running cron tab e and select your editor if prompted. Then specify the shell that should be used to execute the commands and enter your path variable. If you don't know what these are, don't worry, just make sure that they're in there. Next, we need to specify the commands to be run. We want this to be run twice daily on the hour as the root user and to execute certbot's renew command for nginx. So we'll enter in here 0 asterisk slash 12 asterisk 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 root certbot dash q renew dash dash nginx. Lastly, save the file and the new cron job will be installed. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe and click the notification bell to ensure that you never miss a video from Server Pro. If you need any help, contact our support team. I've been Josh. Cheers.